Keith Henry Stockman Campbell, the 23rd of May 1954 to the 5th of October 2012, Professor of Animal Development at the University of Nottingham, was a British biologist who was a member of the team that in 1996 first cloned a mammal, a Finnish Dorset lamb named Dolly, from fully differentiated adult mammary cells. Topic: Education. Campbell was born in Birmingham, England, to an English mother and Scottish father. He started his education in Perth, Scotland, but when he was eight years old, his family returned to Birmingham, where he attended King Edward VI Camp Hill School for Boys. He obtained his Bachelor of Science degree in Microbiology from the Queen Elizabeth College, University of London now part of King's College London. In 1983 Campbell was awarded the Marie Curie Research Scholarship, which led to postgraduate studies and later his PhD from the University of Sussex Brighton, England, UK. Research and career Campbell's interest in cloning mammals was inspired by work done by Carl Ilman C. and John Gordon. Working at the Rosslyn Institute since 1991, Campbell became involved with the cloning efforts led by Ian Wilmot. In July 1995 Keith Campbell and Bill Ritchie succeeded in producing a pair of lambs, Megan and Morag from embryonic cells, which had differentiated in culture. Then, in 1996, a team led by Ian Wilmot with Keith Campbell as the main of the credit contributor used the same technique and shocked the world by successfully cloning a sheep from adult mammary cells. Dolly, a Finn Dorset sheep, named after the singer Dolly Parton, was born in 1996 and lived to be six years old, dying from a viral infection and not old age, as has been suggested. Campbell had a key role in the creation of Dolly, as he had the crucial idea of coordinating the stages of the cell cycle of the donor somatic cells and the recipient eggs and using diploid quescent or G0 arrested somatic cells as nuclear donors. In fact, in 2006 Ian Wilmot admitted that Keith Campbell deserved 66 per cent of the credit for the work on Dolly the Sheep. In 1997, Ritchie and Campbell, in collaboration with PPL Pharmaceutical Proteins Limited, created another sheep named Polly, created from genetically altered skin cells containing a human gene. In 2000, after joining PPL Limited, Campbell and his PPL team based in North America were successful in producing the world's first piglets by somatic cell nuclear transfer SCNT, the so-called cloning technique. Furthermore, the PPL teams based in Rosslyn, Scotland and Blacksburg USA used the technique to produce the first gene-targeted domestic animals as well as a range of animals producing human therapeutic proteins in their milk. From November 1999, Campbell held the post of Professor of Animal Development, Division of Animal Physiology, School of Biosciences at the University of Nottingham where he continued continued to study embryo growth and differentiation. He supported the use of SCNT for the production of personalized stem cell therapies and for the study of human diseases and the use of cybrid embryo production to overcome the lack of human eggs available for research. Stem cells can be isolated from embryonic, fetal and adult derived material and more recently by overexpression of certain genes for the production of induced pluripotent cells. 
Campbell believed all potential stem cell populations should be used for both basic and applied research which may provide basic scientific knowledge and lead to the development of cell therapies. <laughs> Awards and honors In 2008, he received the Shaw Prize for Medicine and Life Sciences jointly with Ian Wilmot and Shinya Yamanaka. He was awarded the Pioneer Award from the International Embryo Transfer Society posthumously in 2015. Topic: <laughs> Personal Life. Keith Campbell took his own life, aged 58. He was buried at Bretby Crematorium, Burton-upon-Trent, in Derbyshire, England. He is survived by his wife, Cathy, and two daughters, Claire and Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> 